What's good, beautiful people? It's boy Chef Mo, back again. This is episode four of The Chef Life. Welcome. Uh, timelines, I gotta warn you now. Timelines are gonna get a little messy. Uh, I started making this show, and I started doing things before and other things and stuff like this. It's kind of the, I guess, the magic of movie making. Um, but, you know, that's why it goes from that episode where there was snow to this episode where I'm filming this and, you know, I'm wearing shorts and stuff like this, you know? Because, you know, I didn't have time to film this back then when it was actually happening. Uh, but I did get some footage, so there'll be a little bit of that in this episode. But uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about to the beginning of March and tell you, you know, I'm going to keep the story going at the, at the very least, right? Even though I'm filming this all over the place like some sort of, some sort of crazy person. But yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of that in this episode. Uh, I'm going to talk, uh, I'm going to go on a gorilla restaurant review. That's what I got planned, because, you know, things get better. So what are you going to do? You're going to take yourself out to eat. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take myself out to eat. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. And the other one is I'm going to do a little bit about a subreddit that I really like. That's uh, kind of chefy, you know. Uh, a little bit of comedy, making fun of people. So it'll be fun like that. So uh, stay tuned. Chef life. Chef Mo, welcome. Here we go. So, the month of March. Well, beginning of March I started working again, which is good. I started making money again, which is always good. Uh, so I started doing a bunch of stuff. I did some events with uh, LE Catering. Uh, you can see a little bit of that in the beginning of the episode. Uh, one of the cool things was in during that uh, those two weeks, uh, within one week with them, I did a show. I did a an event with the Aga Khan of Iran at the Aga Khan Museum. So it was like a VIP dinner for his VIPs. Uh, and I went from that to doing uh, a little of this. Serving hot dogs at a Raptor game. It was really crazy. Kind of felt like Dusty Roads, you know what I mean? I have wined and dined with kings and queens, and I've slept in alleys and dined on pork and beans. Dining with kings and queens, and then dining on pork and beans. Yeah, that was that was kind of what I was doing that week. So, so yeah, that was uh, kind of the month of March. Started working again. Started feeling better about things. So, uh, so like tonight, I'm uh, gonna take myself out. So, uh, let's check this out. Um, uh, I'm gonna get a bite to eat. Wanna come? Let's go. So after spending most of my day off shooting video for this episode, a lot of video for this episode, I was starving. So I headed down to one of my favorite spots, Burrito Boys in Parkdale. Uh, Burrito Boys is kind of a Toronto institution. I found them years ago when they had a pink house down at uh, Peter and Adelaide, right around there. Uh, there used to be like this super hot girl there who would make burritos and I don't know if I went there for the super hot girl or the burritos, but I kept going back for the burritos anyway. Unfortunately, the girl and the location at the pink house doesn't exist anymore. But Burrito Boys still does. They've gone on to open several more locations across Toronto and won several awards for being Toronto's best burrito. And Toronto's best date, check that out. But I can totally understand why. The 
toppings are always super fresh, and they have a wide variety of Mexican fare. They even do a pretty good job with their sweet potato and ground soy vegetarian options. And here it is. So we're gonna give this a taste. Uh, I know it's already gonna be pretty good, but we'll, we'll do this anyway. the halibut one but this one might be better because uh, it's haddock it's a little there's not as much to it uh, the breading they put on it doesn't get as thick as the haddock one i find at least it's bad. there's a cilantro i'm a huge cilantro fan oh man So yeah, uh, I guess I would strongly, strongly recommend going to Burrito Boys. Uh, it's definitely a good meal once you get there. So if you're in Toronto, check them out. As for me, I'm going to call it a day. <sighs> burrito was delicious. Uh, shout out to the people at Burrito Boys. That was uh, awesome. Uh, and you guys liked a bunch of stuff on Instagram, so I decided to come do a restaurant review with you guys. So you guys are my first one. So I hope you like that on Instagram. Uh, so next on the agenda, uh, one of my, I'm a avid person on Reddit, and one of my favorite subreddits, especially when it relates to foods, is one called We Want Plates, uh, which is a collection of pictures of people who do weird ass platings of things. Uh, Cause some people try to get inventive and it just turns out to be stupid. So. Uh, I took a bunch of the pictures, put a little thing together, so uh, check that out right about now. I think this is where this train got started. It used to be you would buy yourself a drink and a meal drink and then a meal but not anymore here why not have a whole sandwich in your bloody mary how about a burger look at this guy's face it's, it's like he's saying i don't need to be reminded of my 3 a.m mickey d's trip or 4 a.m where it came back and, and i've heard of fries coming with that shake but a whole burger coming with that shake you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying. And, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to call this diabetes. Because if you eat this, you're going to get diabetes. There's an old saying that first you eat with your eyes. But... So some people have the bright idea of putting the food right in front of your eyes. It's just look at it though. It's just These girls with their skewers, boy this non. Or the biggest trend that I found with this was bacon. So you can stare at it like some sort of salivating idiot. This is stupid. Don't do this. This isn't inventive. This is just sad. Look. Here's pad thai in a pan. You don't even make pad thai in a pan. And look, here's a whole family eating out of a pan. The only time you're supposed to eat out of a pan is when you live alone and you're single and you don't want to do dishes because nobody else will. So cold. So alone. Here's my biggest problem with this trend. I can just see it now. Hey chef, we ran out of play. Well, I just sum it on the pan, you asshole. But chef, we don't have any pans. But, uh, all right, you go out and, and root around out back and find some garbage to put this garbage on. And what is, what does he bring back? Planks of old wood. 
couple of tree branches, floor tiles, lots and lots of floor tiles. And, and how about a brick? We can put the burgers on the brick. You don't like that? How about how about burgers on a girder? That rhymes. What else rhymes? Uh, uh, a gin and a tin, anyone? Uh, uh, I bet you can still taste the tomato paste in his gin tonic. That's disgusting. It's really disgusting. Just why? Just, just why? Is it supposed to be some sort of take on like the working man? Cause it's a working man's meal or something like this? Miners don't eat out of their shovel. That shit's disgusting. It's in the ground all day. Who wants to eat the ground all? Day. Or is it a big screw you to the diners? Yeah, shovel it in your face, you freaking animal. It's me. Han can't shoot first if you eat off his gun. No, no I'm not going to eat that. Uh, I saw what happened to the last guy. The where was this before category? We have this. Imagine eating cake off of a pillow. Just smearing all your cake into the soft fabric of the pillow, right? Wondering what couch they pulled this off of. And, and okay, okay, I get it, I get it. They have food service pillows for this, right? But it looks the same as the one that that little snot-nosed kid ring bearer had, and he could have gotten himself in his snotty pillow, in the food service pillows, and now I'm eating cake off the pillow. No, don't serve food on pillows not being ironic, you're just being gross. What in the blue hell is this? A shoe? A shoe. Seriously. If somebody put a shoe for me on a table with food in it for me to eat, I would send that back. And I don't care if it's a new shoe because you know, it's probably was a Payless and there's people trying on the shoes and it's probably tried on by like 15 other people and now you put a piece of paper and that's supposed to protect fuck shoe disgustingness from hush puppies that's trying to be ironic, she's putting hush puppies in a hush puppy and that shit is dumb. Don't serve shoe food in the shoe. Don't. No. So that's We Want Plates. Shout out to the people of We Want Plates. Thank you very much. If you want to, go to uh, reddit.com slash r slash we want plates and go check it out. And you can see more ridiculousness like this. Uh, so that's this episode of Chef Life. It's my homeboy, Mary Glenn. Uh, we're about ready to go to work and cut, what, like 300 pounds of brisket today? Yes, sir. Um, so we're back at the grind. Uh, shout outs to Stellar and Culinary Search Group because if you're looking for a job right now, go look them up because they're super busy and we might get some love. Uh, shout outs to Ellie Catering. Thanks a lot. Shout outs to Burrito Boys for the delicious burrito. Uh, and until next time, we're out. Give them a piece. Sour Sal Baby. Ciao Bella, Chef Mo, Chef Life, deuces. Hey, did you like that video? Well, if you did, check out some of these other videos. Or if you want to get updated on the new stuff, subscribe to the channel. If you want all the new information, just visit ChefMoToronto.com.